Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Manny and this is Grabani and today I'll be showing you how to make alkaline spelt waffles. Let's get started. My flour of choice today is white spelt flour. For waffles, in my opinion, white spelt flour tastes way better than regular spelt flour. Add 2 cups of white spelt flour to a bowl. You can also use kamut flour but it doesn't taste that good. Now if you want to sift your spelt flour, that's up to you, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. Add a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, adjust to taste. Add a quarter teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, this is optional. Rather than use some pure agave syrup, today we'll be using some date sugar. Aggressively add 4 to 6 tablespoons of date sugar. Thoroughly mix to combine. Next, we'll be adding about 2 cups of walnut milk. You can also use some hemp milk. For our fat, we can add 4 to 6 tablespoons of avocado oil. Mix your dry and wet ingredients to combine. I'll show you how to make fried oyster mushrooms in the next video. This is the consistency you're looking for. This is a personal waffle maker and it makes really beautiful waffles. It's extremely cheap and it's very portable. This would make a really good gift for someone. Anyway, let's heat this up until the indicator light turns off. This is an avocado oil spray and I've used this before. It's alkaline approved. Once the indicator light turns off, spray both surfaces of your waffle maker. Then add 2-3 to three tablespoons of your batter to your waffle maker. This is a mini waffle maker, so don't overfill it. Also, keep your waffle maker shut until the light indicator turns off. If you're enjoying this video, I think this is a good time to bash that like button. So we're not done with the date sugar and what I'm about to do is what sets my waffles apart from every other waffle out there. Check this out. Once your waffle is done, add some date sugar over the top and shut your waffle maker for about 10 to 20 seconds. The result is pure alkaline magic. I'm using my fingers to remove the waffles because they're made of Teflon and I'm the Teflon Dong. <laughs> anyway, repeat the process and remember to remove your waffles with a pair of kitchen tongs. Ow, 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 ow. Hot, hot, hot. Ow. But I'm still the Teflon Dong. So you can stop right there or you can be like me and add some chopped walnuts to your batter. Add one cup of chopped walnuts to your batter. Okay, now I'm officially losing it and I'm pushing it to the limit. To get your waffles crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, add some Kamut cereal. I know, right? This is crazy. Give it a mix and make your waffles as I showed you in the beginning. your waffles on a baking wire rack for maximum crispiness on the outside. You can also decide to leave all of that out and add some fresh blueberries. Beautiful! I experimented with dried cherries and it was phenomenal. There you go, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next week.